what is iDisposable? The iDisposable interface in C-Sharp provides a mechanism for cleaning, releasing unmanaged resources, such as streams, files, and handles. Now, before we go into further detail, let's quickly look at managed and unmanaged resources. What are the managed resources? The managed resources are the ones that are controlled by the garbage collector, which is found in the net runtime. And they are actually allocated and deallocated automatically. On the other hand, the unmanaged resources are the ones that are not controlled by the garbage collector and they need to be handled by the developer explicitly. You can now pause the screen and read about the managed and the unmanaged resources. But the most important part to remember is that the managed resources are actually handled by the garbage collector and the unmanaged resources should be handled by the developer. And now let's go back to discussing iDisposable. The, since the iDisposable allows you to release unmanaged resources, when should I use it and how should I use it? Like for instance, if you create a new class, should that class implement iDisposable or not? The rules are quite simple. If your class holds unmanaged resource, then it should implement iDisposable. Also, if your class has a field that implements iDisposable, then your class should also implement iDisposable. Okay, now let's take a look at a class that I have created, which is called FileWriter, which actually implements the iDisposable interface. First, you might notice that I have two dispose methods here. The one is public and the one is protected. Now the public method is the one that you can actually call from your code. What this method does is first it calls the protected method sets the parameter disposing to true and then on this line it actually tells the garbage collector that this object is going to be manually disposed and the garbage collector doesn't need to run this is what this line does and now the protected dispose method is the one that actually does all the cleaning for us okay why do i need to implement iDisposable in my file writer class well, you can see that our file writer class actually uses a stream writer. And this stream writer, even though it is managed resource, it actually holds onto an unmanaged file handle. And since it does that, we need to make sure that that unmanaged resource is properly cleaned, which is why we implement the iDisposable interface. And Inside my main method, I have a code snippet which demonstrates how to use the file, file writer class. We are wrapping the code inside a using block. And as soon as the block ends, or even if there's an exception on this line here, regardless, right here, the writer dispose is going to be called automatically and all the unmanaged resources are going to be cleaned up. In my sample code, I showed how to dispose of an object by using the using block. You can actually also call the public dispose method directly, and it does the same thing. Now, if you want to, you can pause the screen and read all the text, which tells you how and when you should implement the iDisposable interface in your code. Well, this was another quick tutorial, which uh, introduced us to the iDisposable interface, and hopefully it's going to help you write a better and cleaner code. That is all for me. Thank you for watching.